Alright, here's my Shining Gate decklist. First off, got three Elemental Hero Neos, triple Neos Alias, one Elemental Hero Stratos, one Honest, double Voltic, triple Bubble Man, one Maxi, double Veiler, double Emergency Call, double A Hero Lives, one Heavy Storm, one Reinforcements, triple Sacred Sword of the Seven Stars, triple Miracle Fusion, one Parallel, Triple Terraforming, one Monster Reborn, double Super Poly, triple Fusion Gate, double Trap Stun, one Hero Gaia, oh, I mean Great Tornado, one Hero Nova Master, triple Hero the Shining, one Ascarado, one Absolute Zero, oh, I mean two Absolute Zeros, one Gaia, ignore these three, uh, Hero Champion Excalibur, Master. Mel Stroke, the Symphony de Jin, and one Gagaga -ga -ga Cowboy. Now these three were from a version I was doing earlier on, so you can just replace these three with any other rank four monsters you want. You don't really need any other uh, fusion monsters except for these ones. And the extra, de well, the side deck isn't actually a side deck. These are just ones from a version I was trying out. I was trying to make a deck out of Dimensional Explosion, but it doesn't really work in Gate because you need your opponent to have a remove from play monster too in order to activate it. And that's what the Instant Fusion was for. So anyway, what this deck is about, because in the olden times, before this card existed, the Sacred Sword of Seven Stars, you wouldn't run any Neos at all on a Shining Gate deck. But since this card exists, it removes Elemental Hero Neos from play, which is a good thing, and lets you draw two cards. And it's real easy to add Neos to your hand because of Stratos, the Emergency Call, well, and the Hero Lives bringing out Stratos. You can add this die to your hand only if you have this card in your hand. If you don't have this card in your hand, you don't want him in your hand, unless you activate Fusion Gate, of course, because then you could just, you know, fusion him with someone else. Since he's a Light and Elemental Hero, he... Uh, fulfills both conditions to bring out Elemental Hero the Shining. Obviously the best choice to bring out unless your opponent has monsters on the field then you want to bring out an Absolute Zero. And that's what Bubble Man's for. Bubble Man not only is good on his own with the introduce of uh, XYZ monsters because he can special summon himself if you have no other cards in your hand which doesn't happen that often because this kind of deck runs way more monsters than what a Bubble Man deck requires. Usually with the Bubble Man deck you only run like seven monsters total. Three Bubble Men, three Neos Alias, and one Stratos. And then the rest is just like trap and spells. But you can still get off his effect whenever you want. And he's also used for absolute zero. Or to bring out the Shining if you want to use him plus Evact Vealer or Honest. Reason there's only one parallel world fusion is because it kind of works like a pot of Duality. There we go. You can't special summon the turn you use it, and you also can't use it the turn you've already special summoned. But it does allow you to get out one of your fusion monsters. And having one, it's... I would never run more than one of these in a deck unless you were making a deck specifically for this. And even then, you could replace this with really... What could you replace it with? I don't know. This is more of a turbo version. That's why there's only like two traps. And they're both trap stunned, just so you can stop your opponent. But you could also run like a Solemn or a Dark Bribe. Trap Stun just one of my personal favorites. It's like, I'm going to go for an OTK. Trap Stun and then Fusion Gate summon all these guys out. Uh, Super Poly. That's why I'm running Escarado, Nova Master, and well, guy I can use Maxi with. But yeah, Escarado, Nova Master, the only reason because Super Poly's in here. And other than that, it's not really that much different from regular Shining Gate builds. It's, uh, yeah, that's it.